Okay, Lita, we have another demo we're doing today. This is actually one of the most interesting demos we've ever done. I'm going to do something that's never been done before with Arduino, which is have the Arduino board show up as a disk drive on a computer that you can drag files onto, like SD or QSPY flash, and then Arduino can do something with it. So we did this with Circuit Python. Yeah. And once people got used to it, they're like, oh, just drag and drop files. Wave and files, it, font it files. It automatically restarts. All these images, things. Yeah, it made videos. It, it made it behave like a USB drive, but also made it very easy to do lots of iterations. You don't have to open up an IDE. And one of you the, don't have to like, take out your SD card, put it in the drawer, yeah, yeah. put it back. You can and drag and drop. One of the things that we know is really hard, if someone wants to put animated GIFs on a device, or config file with Wi-Fi settings. Or whatever they want to just normally, normally they would just drag the stuff over in some yep. way. They would just drop it on there. But you couldn't do that with Arduino. But, but now, now you can. You can. All right, Thanks so to TAC and his amazing teeny USB work for our USB stack. Right. So what do we got here? So this is my demo. It's a Pi badge. Um, this yeah. is our badge. It's a SAMD51 and it has native USB, so you get the USB connector. And the gift player looks on the internal QSPY storage. Yeah. A little chip on the back. 8 megabytes or 2 megabytes of, of SPI storage. And right now it's saying no GIF files found. So put some on. So this is basically an Arduino with a screen. This is just Arduino. Just an Arduino. Arduino code. Okay. And it's saying, hey, you know, right. I, there's no files available for me to play. So I have the desktop here. Yep. And I have three GIFs. And this is the Arduino drive right yes. now. Yes. It's called CircuitPy because that's what, that's what we call it right the now. name of the drive, but it's a disk drive. But there's no GIFs in here. Open up the new gifts. So why don't you drag some gifts in? All three? Yeah, put them all in. I'm gonna put all three. You got some Yan cats, got some Badger Badger. Okay, so these are transferring over. Yeah, and you can see it's pretty fast. Um, okay, they're on. It took only it was about four hundred kilobytes total and took about four seconds. Now it's what? not too bad. So now I press A. And there you go. It's playing the gifts. And I can cycle through them. What if I delete one of these off here? Um it might either skip it or if it's in the middle of one, it'll be very sad. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete the Spock one. Delete the Spock one. Sorry, Spock. So okay. now when it cycles through the gifts, it doesn't oh. play the Spock one. It just plays the two. Okay, so this is a live. This is the first time I think there's ever been drag and drop files on Arduino. Never happened before. Okay. Now available in the Adafruit uh, SAMD. Um, board support library for SAMD21 and SAMD51 boards. You can use it with QSPY or SD cards. So you can keep the SD card inserted in yeah. and then uh, just drag and drop files and just select Teeny USB and check out our Teeny USB library for the example code. You just have to tell Teeny USB how to um, read and write uh, 512k block sectors because that's what basically how it, it, it you have a callback. You tell it how you want it to read and write data. You can actually also use the internal memory. You can use the internal memory of the chip. So if you have like a really big one megabyte chip, you can use that and drag files in now. Well, it's kind of unusual. Okay. This is really interesting for a very small number of people who do coding and do Arduino stuff. But for users, this might make it very easy. You don't even need to open up the Arduino IDE to put things like animated GIFs or config files yep. or whatever you want to do Audio to and from a file fonts, system. Yeah. Images, that's, assets. That's a big deal. I think especially, and we right now in Teeny USB we support the NR52 840, so that also has the same capability. Okay. 7021, 7051, and also when the ESP32 S2 comes out, which has USB, we'll add Teeny USB to support to that. Hopefully, Expressive will help out because they're going to be the USB stack experts. And then you'll have some, a chip with Wi Fi, but also the USB disk drive exposed. So again, configuration, you don't have to do the whole thing where it's as access point, then you connect the access point. Instead, you plug it in, and you can have, as you see, like I have a config uh, JSON file yeah. on the uh, board there. And um, you can use that as just a plain JSON storage for any configuration, Wi-Fi, uh, certificates, you know, uh, enterprise connectivity, key storage. All that is exposed over the disk drive, so it's really easy to use. Okay. And that's my demo. All right, good work. Thanks, Spock. <laughs> Thanks, Swear Trek. Thanks, Swear Trek. And the Uncat. <laughs>